Hey guys, welcome to episode 196 of the JLS Gaming Show. I'm your host, Will A.K. LaSalle, joined by my beautiful co-host, the beautiful Liliana LaSalle. Hey guys. And our great guests, personal friends, I can I can say that for these guests, right? And they are just awesome. If you've been on whatnot um, in the retro game category, you've heard of them, right? Um, and if not, you know, uh, in South Florida, they have an amazing, amazing uh i'm not gonna say barcade but barcade right they have an amazing <laughs> barcade and at the same time right they may start start producing content for youtube so you'll see them a lot in, in youtube right they got great shows um on whatnot they really are our personal i'm gonna say i'm gonna speak for me my favorite on there right and i can't miss the shows and everything like that the, the two guys are wonderful game night arcade and that's josh and chris so give it up for Game Night Arcade. What's up, guys? How are you guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How you doing? So, so one of the things that we want to jump just jump right in, right? Um, you you guys have seen us speak about whatnot, um, speak about how we view it as sort of, and we live in the Orlando area, so we view it as sort of um entertainment first first off right but there's auctioning components purchasing buy, there's buy it now they're they're really expanding things so they have stories and stuff lately um but we really view it as an entertainment factor man and i'm always catching you know these guys streams and they're they're just always always entertaining and we beg them you know to be on the show so we're excited to have them on the show get to know them better bring them bring them to you guys as an audience you know, so let's get let's get right into it. If you guys can quickly, long or whatever, introduce you guys. Go right ahead, introduce yourselves. I mean, I'm Josh. I'm the guy behind the camera. Chris is the guy in front of the camera. Yep, the man behind the camera. So now you guys seen them. I know. Shout out to <laughs> Nerdy Over Thirty who who have had these guys on. You know, on their yeah. podcast as well as their their YouTube channel. So you can see the man behind the camera. But you know, now you guys also see them again. You know here right so josh and Chris. Pokemon. <laughs> his second on-camera appearance right here you guys got it we're special yeah <laughs> two of two that's it after this no more <laughs> yep that's it you guys are getting the last exclusive view of josh <laughs> on camera then after this oh man back in the so, closet so one thing real quick to get to get into it because we we had the privilege right and i say that for real um of actually I guess a week and a half ago now we actually went down there um you know to the 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 barcade and bar you know, slash arcade bar, bar slash arcade right because i don't i don't want to get copyright stricken <laughs> or something yeah, like they'll, that they'll for using come after us for that yep. <laughs> they'll come after me everything like that Our this arcade. is a free channel man we don't make money yeah. so <laughs> we went down there and it's beautiful and it was packed it was just it was it was packed it, it's beautiful like you know it, it was amazing right and and we live out here in orlando and and there's some barcades and they we've been to you know we, we remain nameless right but that were not nowhere near as packed um had and that not, kind of ambiance bad packed no like, it wasn't like we still got a seat we still got stuff to, you know the, the delicious the, the most delicious milkshake ever you guys have heard me say <laughs> that over and over that day like i i had so much of it and everything like that. Thank you guys for that. And Our then it brings all the boys to the yard, okay? It brought, yeah, it's gonna bring me back. But I just, I don't know if I could do a three-hour drive just for a milkshake, man. That's, that's but I mean, that was Spence, the, one of the other owners. Yeah, he makes yeah. all the food. He's a maestro in the kitchen. Shout out the guys there. Shout out the guys, the the, the store. Speak a little yeah. bit about about the shout store out, before we get into whatnot in video games. Alex, Adam, uh, Bridget. Yep um thomas he's the manager back there he's he's great mm -hmm. and damien that's all our staff right there and then you got spence who is the, the majority owner and you got uh val who's a lesser known owner and then you got me who are owners but spence is like the heart and soul of everything he's the the kitchen master he's yeah. been there since the beginning he works literally seven days a week wow. sunday wow. is the only day we're closed and he's still working there he's still if he's not working he's out there getting food for the next day he's prepping He's he's doing everything. He's moving things around at the bar. He's updating things. It's it's always something. He's literally there seven days a week. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know because they always see me and Chris, but he's he's yeah. the man behind, he, he, behind the he's, camera. He's <laughs> the big cog that keeps the machine turning. Then I'm the face that runs the place, and this is the brains behind the operation right here. So it's just a mixture of things. But yeah, um, 
I'm not an owner of Game Night. I have no part ownership of Game Night at all. I'm just a host of the Whatnot channel. Because a lot of people get it misconstrued sometimes. They think that I'm an owner, part mm -hmm. owner, and I'm not. I'm just, I'm very close with these guys and I'm constantly involved with everything that they do because I'm such like a, uh, you know, I love the place so much that whatever I can do to help, I'm in there, you know, and they, and they know that. I'm, I'm forever indebted. We, we were actually patrons in the beginning. We were there during the grand opening. Yeah, and we were just wow. as amazed as you guys were. Like, wow, this place is so cool. Like, this is the, this is what I want. Like, I wish I had a bar like this. Exactly. And it wasn't until later that I personally purchased in and got a little yeah. portion of the bar. It was it was Spence and Val from the beginning who uh, went through all the hurdles to, to make the place what it was. There came a time where it made sense for me to buy in, and then now there's three of us as owners, and and here we are. Years of evolution. COVID really took us, you know, out. And uh, I had my own separate business. Uh, for like 10 years, I've been selling online, like we're doing on whatnot, whatever. Yeah. And, you know, just over time, I've kind of used it together with Game Night to be, you know, synonymous. So now we're kind of, the bar arcade is like the home base. And then we're kind of running the, the online thing right yeah, now. Yeah, the whatnot is like a separate thing. But to further promote and enhance the overall Game Night experience, spread the name, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's becoming like those things which are that start from from that mustard seed idea right which which mm -hmm. what i'm what i'm trying to get at is right the, the the story and the history of most big brands right and that's how highly i think of you guys right starts from something small like that and, and chris you were saying something about that like hey like you're not you know um uh, an owner per se right but yeah. you know there's such a thing as sweat equity man you know what i'm saying so i know josh and the rest of the ownership team but there's all there's plenty of, of of stories and you know the brand and what you guys are doing is bringing just so much excitement that there's plenty of opportunities right in, in the future with with any kind of expansions or or franchise opportunities or or um expanding the brand right to kind of get kind of get in um using an using analogies man you know uh uh like hip hop which we'll get into a little bit in a little mm -hmm. bit too right like jay-z right you know at first he was probably the talent but now everybody knows him just as much as his talent as as being such a great businessman right as you know he said saying? in the song i'm not a businessman i'm a business man <laughs> and that's and that's the thing chris right that's the thing and that's what's so amazing and i know we've had conversations and you guys i'm not going to leak anything any <laughs> info here but the things that you guys have and are working on in, in my opinion, right, are, are, it's amazing, right? And I really do see see big things for you. You know, Liliana, I think you had some some questions you wanted to ask them. Well, first is, how did you get into whatnot? I know you were saying that you were reselling anyway, but how'd you we kind were, of- We uh, were part of the, the online or resale businesses. We go to conventions every year. I do like 10 or so conventions a year. And we were in Chicago at C2V2 selling at a booth. And whatnot was there and one of the guys just approach us one of the reps and saw what we were doing and I was just trying to sell him like I would anybody else and I guess he liked that he gave me a, <laughs> a, a pass like a, a fast track pass and I just called up and I think early January we just started selling on whatnot and the first show was like insane I guess they pushed us you know to get some sort of traction and we did like stuff that I was selling was like ridiculously insane I couldn't believe I was selling them at the prices I was selling I was like got to keep this going we got to keep keep this doing <laughs> yeah Dude, that's, but, that's well, uh, what you were going to say, Chris, sorry. I was going to say, uh, once we saw how it was, because, you know, it was just like our, us dipping our toes in the water. Because, you know, just like a lot of people, we didn't know what what not had in store yet or what it was going to entail. So it was just us trying it. But once we saw how that first show went and how fun it was, we we're like, OK, this is something we can do, you know, as long as we stay consistent. And then uh, here we are. And this is. I don't even know how many more streams later this is. It has to be over 50. We've been doing at least, you know, uh, how many would you say a month? Like at least. We no, do 15. We've slowed down recently, but we've, yeah. we've done, had to have done about 50. Really. Yeah, yeah. So Also, like, I've known Chris for a while, and he, he you know, we worked together at the convention, whatever, and, and I've always wanted to utilize his power, his, his gift of gab, and mm -hmm. whatnot just made sense. <laughs> whatever you want to call his. Yeah. He's just more outgoing than me. He's more. He's got. He's just got that that skill. That you know, and that that's that's talent, man. That's that's talent. Like like you know, as you know, someone that 
that um right some as someone like myself that that is an investor at times and you know um a mentor to some people and and things of that nature one 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 skill that i have to have is like being able to have that skill that you had josh right which is identifying talent right because um it's a delicate mix and i know we have a lot of um similar stories in 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 music industry and and even in even in gaming right and a lot of times it's luck but but it's really not luck it's perseverance around um you know letting somebody hear you and that that can have the clout to take you to that next level right you hear all the time about these supermodels that were just discovered in a mall right i think a lot of it is scam is scammy now you get people in the mall and people trying to scam people with that but you know a lot of these supermodels that you've heard in years past it's like they're walking in a mall and some talent person just says hey and identify them not to be confused with a talent couch guys you know what i'm trying yeah. to say but <laughs> talent couch you know completely different thing yeah completely I've different thing guys i fell for it like twice so, oh my goodness anyway. i think i, I saw that casting you live and learn one of the videos before. <laughs> oh man that that was the 24 was hour stream i think Which you know was crazy guys that 24 hour stream and, and like i was saying towards the end we i probably watched like no lie 16 hours plus of it right wow. obviously multitasking but yeah. um the, the only time i didn't probably watch was when i was knocked out sleeping um and probably a couple meetings that i had during the day but like towards the end man and i was telling people like dude you know i was saying josh uh throw a cape on that man you know what i'm trying to say like james <laughs> brown like the end of a james brown performance throw a cape on that man 24 hours dude like but wait wait wait. Yeah. we're giving him credit like he was there for 24 hours in a row. oh yeah he took breaks man chris took breaks josh was there the 24 they hours had, they had yeah he guys. stood the whole 24 hours me i had to bow out like three times let the guests take over the celebrity guests but um other than that man i put in my work too how sure. do you get these celebrity guests guys like like how how connected are you man <laughs> you get, you, what, what were the th what were the three guests you guys had that that gave chris a time out we had a uh, mario we had uh the wish version yeah we had we had uh, uh pablo uh, uh, adult <laughs> not human uh <laughs> turtle and um we had bane on there yeah we had bane Boricua Bain. These people, it, cost, it cost a lot of money to get them on there, man, but it was worth it, you know? You, yeah, and, and, quid, and you guys... Pro quo. Oh, so you guys owe them a favor, right? Wow. What, yeah, what's we, that going to be? We, we owe a few favors now, but for, for the viewership that it brought in, you know, well worth it. Definitely, man. And, you know, one of the things you ran... Was it four or five Dorito bags? And we'll talk a little bit about well, that. Yeah, I was about to say, let's yeah. backtrack to the Dorito. Okay. Wow. I I think we uh might have been four. Every, yeah, I think it was like I yeah, it, it might have been like four, four or five. No, 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 no. We did one, I believe, every every four hours, every I thought. Four, I every four hours, something like that. Yeah. Every six hours. Every six hours. Every six, one. every six, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. six four. hours we did a Dorito bag. You're right. Yeah. So about I think four or five. I think we did like a final big bang Dorito at the end, but uh yeah. We, we ran a few. And shout out to Boski. I think Boski won three of, two or three of them, at least two. I, I know. Bought, I, I think, think yeah, she bought the first one. I think I got yeah, the first Yeah, yeah, you one. did. So, so super for cool, everybody man. that doesn't know the Dorito bag, tell us how you did that, what it is, and all that. Funny enough, it started off as a joke. So every time someone bought something in the first show, I promised them a bag of Doritos. The next, when we actually sent the stuff out, people were hitting us up like, "Yo, where are my Doritos, man? Like, never got the Doritos. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh my gosh! They're like, "Yo, we never got the Doritos oh, with, with the uh, shipment." So him, he's like, "Yo, man, you can't be telling them stuff on camera and then not sending it because he goes, some people don't know that you're joking, and they're really gonna expect something." So I was like, "All right." So for the next show, I thought it was so funny. The next show, I actually brought a bag of Doritos with me, or did we grab them from the bar? from the bar i think we we grabbed it from the bar and um then after every purchase i shook the bag of doritos and i was cracking everyone up you know it's just like a funny little sound it's like a little it's like a little gratitude thing like it makes you feel good like here's your little shake so um then at towards the end of the show people were like yo put up the doritos for auction put up the doritos the funny thing was that i didn't know one of my friends was watching the show had made mm. an account without telling me 
I was egging people on to buy the Doritos. It was one of my, <laughs> my close friends and I had no idea. So um, I was like, yo, are you guys serious about these Doritos? They're like, yeah, put them up for auction. We'll buy it now. The first bag of Doritos went for $7. So mm. with nothing. Yeah, with nothing. And we were cracking up. We're like, yo, did we just sell a fucking bag of Doritos for $7? <laughs> and like, that was insane to us. So then on the second show, we did it again, but this time he threw a game in with it for whoever won the bag of Doritos. It sold for $7 again. After that free game, that like blew it up because now on the third show, now that they found out that they can get a free game with the Doritos, the bids started going up. Then it went from like $17 to like 70 something dollars to hundred dollars. More, more yeah, out. kept yeah. doing more games in. Then uh, like the record for a long time was $750 until Someone broke the record and bought it for $1,260, which is the wow. highest it's ever gone for. Technically, the highest it ever went for was $2,260, right? Something yeah, like, like $2,260, but then the, the person canceled. canceled right after the show. That's so, messed up. Sucks. That, that would have been the, yeah, we gave away like it was, I a, think, it was the whole stream of inventory. Let's put it all on that. And then we closed out the stream. And then yeah, yeah. We closed out the stream early because we threw in everything. Like, they paid so much. We're like, here, you get everything. We gave him everything. And then he had second thoughts, got cold feet. He's like, sorry, guys. Have to cancel on you, please. You know? And then we're like, Phew. so we did it. You guys yeah. are nice guys. $1,260 is the, is the record for the bag of Doritos. Yeah. And I, I've offered... Plenty of times. I know Lily has a question queued up. I've offered plenty of times to break that record. You know, if if Josh can throw in this one thing that I was distracted when he ran it, I'm not going to mention it on here. But it's that Nintendo he talks Power about One. It all the time. That's probably the only the, the the only thing I want to purchase and whatnot because the what our whatnot addiction has gotten so crazy. We buy things now. But our house, we get so many packages now. It's insane. Of we have whatnot. nine coming in tomorrow. From, you guys are going to have to build Tuesday. an extra room. You'll we, get it from me one of these days. That, <laughs> that bathroom we're, we're costs you dearly, fam. It costs you dearly. <laughs> yeah. It's the wrong time we're, to take a bathroom break. We're, we're, <laughs> we're addicted to, to, to whatnot, definitely. <laughs> and and between, and they just add more and more categories that are, that are pretty cool, right? So now, Liliana, she goes to designer bag categories um they got vintage clothing <laughs> categories uh and it's wow. just like what in the world so um there's I, everything now she's actually going to be auctioning off she mentioned it last week i think the show is this week coming up um some vintage dolls and it's got a lot of bookmarks it's got more yeah. bookmarks than our retro gaming you know wow. shows and giveaways so i guess I there's a big market really, for, doll, yeah, for vintage really dolls yeah advertising it, there's these dolls i got you know, I'm a real real estate agent around here. I went to some older lady's house. She mm -hmm. liked me. I went back again. She gave me these like vintage 19 between 1970, 1980, um, 80s dolls. So now I have like all these dolls. I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I put them on whatnot and it's been listed and everybody's bookmarking. And I'm like, I I guess people want these things. And and it's crazy that you can find yeah. deals like this. I want you guys to tell the audience the quick story of, of I've heard it before on the streams and everything like that, but for our audience and, you know, not the, not quite the millions and millions like The Rock, but the but the thousands and thousands, <laughs> the, hundreds and hundreds. the hundreds and hundreds of JLS gaming fans so they can understand how you guys came across some awesome vintage toys. Uh, you tell that story better. Oh. <laughs> so anyways, um, it was through a hookup of his. He has the insider. When it comes to a lot of this stuff, he has such a network and yeah. such a good rapport and reputation out in these streets that um I just I've been doing it so long that over ten years, of course, you build relationships right. with yeah. people and yeah. So he got the secret word. So he got the secret word that someone would finally be um opening up their warehouse to a select few people of this guy who had inventory sitting there for over 40 years. Wow. This guy, oh, he's an old Cuban guy in Miami. He owned the building, the whole building that he was in. And he had a store downstairs that you would think was like a rinky dink dollar store. You know, like he sold like mop heads in there and like little, you know, like 
bootleg fila shirts and stuff like that. Like just mm -hmm. old stuff. <laughs> but you would never know that upstairs he has this treasure trove of storage that was still sealed in boxes, never saw sunlight. Wow. Racks and racks of toys. Had never been That's opened. Crazy. Racks and racks, pallets, stuff. Yo, he had bottles of Coke there that were still unopened from like anniversary Coca-Cola packages. Like, wow. like um, 50th anniversary, you know, Disney World Coca-Cola collection or like the first time the, the freaking uh, Dolphins won the Super Bowl. Like he had like... <laughs> Wow. Weird cook, that's how much stuff he had sitting there. Wow. He had he had racks that were really high and hard to get to. And yeah. It was stuff that was there for 30, 40 years that no one even accessed because it was just so annoying to get to. So there were sealed boxes of Ghostbusters. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Oh, man. Like all the 80s. Some stuff was even from the 70s. Yeah, Voltron, G.I. Wow. Joe. Like Lone Rangers, 70s mm -hmm. toys, mid condition, unpunched. Stuff from the 70s toys, unpunched that you would never, you know never see that kind of like this stuff was so like golden and vintage in like the factory box it never even opened the factory box you could even get the dust graded that was on top of the boxes that's <laughs> popular, <laughs> you know? that's dust. vintage dust like i felt privileged to have that dust on my fingers it smelled like you... 40 years of ass but it was all oh man i can oh, imagine man. And, and some of the you know besides the toys there were some gaming like awesome Freaking! I know a bunch of Intellivisions. In there television. Were, yeah, that's that was something that sealed. Was really big, that it was just boxes of, of Intellivision sealed, untouched, mint condition, wow. with and hang and, tabs, and, and, like unpunched yeah. hang tabs. Like yeah, that's a holy grail, dude. Yeah, and in television, those games were from '79. I actually just uh, I sent a lot of them to Wada, and I just got the grades back. They're not back yet, but the grades are all above nine. On wow. Everything I sent out, and yep. these are 1980s. Early 80s in television, ColecoVision, uh, Atari stuff. Mm -hmm. Some Donkey Kong, some stuff like that that's worth it. That Donkey Kong, I know. That one was... And I, I was in one of the streams. I think one of the Donkey Kongs went for... Shout out to... I call him ELH, but shout out to El Loco Hombre. I think El Loco Hombre bought yeah. it, right? Yeah. And it, that one was one that I was like, that's... Because that brings back memories. I, don't, I never played that version, but the mm -hmm. earliest version I played, because my dad was the donkey kong on the coleco vision so i know okay. that was even earlier than that right because i think the donkey kong on atari if, it, if they did have it if i'm not mistaken sucked or whatever it looked all blocky and everything yeah. but that one and and it's a beautiful um it's a beautiful box too and you guys had it sealed un you know unpunched with the hang tab like mm -hmm. like still like not even the hang tab like whatever perforated to actually hang it yeah i'm like dude that's a, like you said 40 something year old game like there, there was Amazing. stuff that we didn't even show on the stream. Some like, like I don't know if you know about the Atari porn games. Those old like super rare. I, I heard games. about them. I, I, and I've seen YouTube videos when you go down that rabbit hole, but no, I've yeah. never seen them in person or played them. But we no, have was... some as well on some getting graded. Which Ooh. it goes to show how far we've come as a civilization. Just think about it. Our quality of porno was so bad back then. That people would get off to four bit Atari pixels. I don't know like what <laughs> what the purpose of an Atari porn game is. Like I don't know what they were going for there. Or who was really gonna get off to like a little green pixel. I I don't know. It was but it, it exists. It looks like the pixelated sensor box, right? It, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like you're like, oh man, I, I think that's a tip. Anyways. <laughs> if, we, if we if we can, I'll show you off, show off what I have on hand. Yeah. Oh, that's we, awesome. We Isn't, might have to blur it out for for <laughs> no. Yeah, because I think a lot of those games too are like offensive. Isn't one of them? I don't know if it's the one that you have, but the one I heard of was the one where it was like, um, I think cowboys and Native General Americans. Custer. General. Yeah, Custer. and it was like, I, and I've seen like or, or heard the videos about it, you know. And shout out to all our our Native American friends, right, and everything like that, because that's crazy. You know, we we lived in. Native American country and worked in Native American country and and Chris, you know us as as Boricuas, Puerto Ricans, right? With Taino Indian blood and all that stuff that hits yeah. close to home and our ancestry. But that's a cra that's a legit crazy game and mm -hmm. came out before any of us were born, right? Which, in this, which we're in not this even going to say what the goal of the game is because there's something. Yeah, but it, it's crazy. But you and know that stuff exists. You yep. know that's what's crazy. It exists and it's collectible. Uh, uh, 
fortunately or unfortunately, I don't, you know, but it's collectible. But that's that's awesome. I'm sorry, I was I was cutting you no, off. What no, you were no. gonna ask? No, you're good. No, go ahead. So, do you guys personally collect also, or just resell? Boy, if I could only turn this camera around <laughs> and show you guys the room. Okay. Oh. But um, yeah, I mean, I actually have, you know, aside from him, not speaking for him, I have a huge collection of a lot of stuff. I collect action figures. I collect comic books. I collect games. Um, I have a big Source and Double XL magazine collection. Um, yeah, I mean, I collect a little bit of everything, but mostly it's going to be mostly comic book related, gaming related, action figure. Just, I'm just basically a big dweeb. That's what I am. That's that's the best way to put. It. I'm a dweeb. <laughs> no other way to put. It. I mean, look. I at, can't talk I'm, shit. I can't I talk got shit. A Sony logo right now. I look like a Sony billboard <laughs> with down to the hat. I mean, I don't know how much. I just Dude, but he's not a poser either. He's <laughs> no man listen guys the, yeah. the 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 great thing about gaming right and and we have this channel and we we meet great guys like you is that it's it really is universal it really is like uh, the stigmas that that it had before like when when we were little or whatever like that it's like oh you got to grow up stop playing games and everything like that besides our our mom calling everything nintendo mm -hmm. right including the calculator, right? Because you could fi <laughs> somebody figured out how to play games on on the TIs. You know what I'm saying? While you're in yeah. school, right? They, I think they even put Doom on there. They put Doom on everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it so it's like, yeah, it, but it's universal. And and sometimes when I talk to people from a business perspective, because I tell them I'm doing I, I'm doing gaming, music, and cannabis, um, is is where I'm transitioning my my career goals and everything like that. They look at me when it's gaming. And it wasn't until last year when Microsoft did that, their biggest acquisition of ever, which was gaming related, right? Which was, you know, Activision. And it ends up being where now people call me, business people, right? In their 60s and, and stuff like that. And they'll call me and they go, Will, you was right. I'm like, what you mean I was right? Like, it's the, the fastest growing, even during the pandemic, it outgrew, you know, and outsold, you know, and you guys definitely understand this music and entertainment combined. So that was a, a kind of a perfect mix because you had the pandemic and everybody's home. So that grew, we had for the longest time, our hashtag stay home and game, right? Um, but people couldn't get into movie theaters, right? People couldn't necessarily put out music. Um, Y'all probably remember, there was these corny YouTube videos where people were doing in the pandemic and everything like that. I think it was like, who was it? Like New Edition and New Kids on the oh, Block yeah. did some song, all of them on their phones yeah. and everything like that, right? A music video for some <laughs> some some track. I think Naughty by Nature was there too, man. Uh, yeah. Shout out to them though. But it's huge. And and now people see it and it's it's projected to grow, you know, by the, by the time 2030 or whatever like that, even 50% bigger than what it is right now. So if the pie is 100 billion, it's going to go to 150 billion. So I think now people take it serious it's transcendent and what i was going to other say too is my dad got me into video games and he's 72 years old you know what i'm trying to wow. say um and he got me into video games he was playing that in television he was playing the coleco vision the ataris and then i'm little and lucky for 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 me he let me play with him so i think what, what you guys are saying and and collecting that stuff's gonna gonna exist and um you know what's with that said what's either both of you guys right um speak uh, what's your first gaming memory? What's your first system? Uh, mine is uh, Sega Genesis Shining Force, the, the game Shining Force. Have you ever played uh, that? Yeah, the RPG. My dad right? got it and he was playing it. It was me watching him play it, and then Beautiful. I started playing it. And I love the game. I have a lot of nostalgia for that game for for that reason. Awesome. That's my first first memory. As for me, man, it's crazy because I had two older brothers. So yep. everything that I ever played was like passed down from them. It's like when they deemed me worthy to even <laughs> let me play the game without giving me the fake controller that wasn't hooked up when they actually- Oh man. <laughs> One of my earliest memories was Mega Man. I believe it's probably like Mega Man 3. And um, then I just remember like playing that game and learning it and then beating it. Then, uh, you know, I know Mario was somewhere in there, but of course, my biggest gaming memory is probably always going to be Punch Out. Yeah. So Punch Out, I love. You know, Punch Out was a big thing back then. Like everybody in yeah. the hood had Punch Out. It's just the fact 
it, it was a combination of things. It, it was a fun game. It looked crazy on the Nintendo. Then you have to remember just how big Mike Tyson was in the 80s and early 90s. And the fact that his name was attached to it. And uh, he was the last master of the game, you know? So it was a big Especially game. in New York, where you're from. Yeah, yeah. He was always I, in the. He was always with the people and and out there in the clubs, but exactly. out there in the streets, hanging out. Exactly. So he was loved by everybody at that time too. Yeah, you know, and and it only makes sense. Me being from the Bronx, like of course we want to beat up someone from Brooklyn. That's always going to be the rivalry <laughs> that never. Ends. Oh man, we love our Brooklyn fans, man. We're yeah, not yeah, trying. Yeah, we're yeah. We don't condone violence. It's just it's it's the <laughs> never ending rivalry. So, um, yeah, man, it was just a very memorable game and. If you can master that game, it just made you look like gold to everybody. Like, it's just impressive that you were good at punch out. So that's one of my biggest gaming memories I can say. And of course, another one that I could throw in there, honorable mention, Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation. That to me yeah. changed, will forever change the way I viewed gaming. Yeah. Because uh, the DualShock controller and stuff like that, you know, so everybody will know what I'm talking about. Anybody who played Metal Gear, but it, it was just so, um, my bad, phone ringing. No, no it was just so uh was immersive at the time with the dual shot controller and the guy controlling your mind aka reading your memory card and saying that he's gonna move the controller <laughs> then he's the vibration of the controller to like move it around on the floor that was just too insane to me so and, Metal and Gear that was Solid a great series <laughs> that's a great that's a great series too and yeah and i i remember you know um the the original metal gear and I don't remember two that much, but the original Metal Gear and playing that on the Nintendo, right? Yeah. But then, like you said, it was such a the PlayStation was just so revolutionary too at the time when you seen the games there compared, especially with the FMV, the full motion video stuff. So I agree, man. Something like that and using that technology, right? Using the dual shot, mm -hmm. right? Like that in 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 doing that, reading the memory cards. That's why, like for me, my favorite system. You know is dreamcast it, it's because i thought two things one the online capabilities that it had and yeah. um because honestly that's the first system i remember playing online even though it was on dial-up um <laughs> i think i was playing like nba 2k or nfl 2k on dial-up but yeah. also um that vmu you know yep. and even to this day i'm sitting there modding and keeping my my dreamcast for, forever i have multiple dreamcasts just in case a backup dreamcast just in yeah. case my dreamcast ever dies to to you know keep keep the keep it playing man but what was one of you wanted to ask anything else real quick um i kind of skipped around <laughs> going back to whatnot we had some do you have any advice for resellers or content creators that are kind of jumping into whatnot Cause you guys are super successful, really entertaining. Get so, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, yeah. definitely get in the camera if you can. I think that that changes the whole dynamic. Um, I think if you can have a, a female host, that legitimately will help your your, your show. <laughs> yeah. uh, wow. Have, sometimes I think we have uh, poor product or. A weaker product and nobody wants to buy that and maybe you have a little bit of money into it but nobody wants to even pay a dollar for a lot of a lot of the junkier stuff you I know mean, one thing i'll oh, go ahead chris i'm sorry i would say um one knowledge of the product is always good if you're selling oh, yeah. something you have no idea what you're selling you can't speak on it then it's gonna like you know sometimes the people, people watching right yeah sometimes people watching won't know what you're selling either and they're interested. They're seeing this for the first time too. If you can't convince them to buy it or make them feel excited to buy something, they're not gonna buy it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times games will pop up. I don't know every game in the world. Like I love games and I know the history of games, but I don't know every game that pops up because he pulls stuff out that I've never seen before. Pause. So um, you know, sometimes you pull out a random game with a weird cover, and you know, it could be for all I know, it could be like Mario 2 or Castlevania, but sometimes the artwork in Japan is so different, it'll just show like a can of soda with like some, you know, Japanese letters over it. <laughs> I won't know what game it is, so I'll just make up a name and make up a f whole fake backstory about what the game is just to get And they laugh. love you for that. And it, it's so Those funny. Crack me like, up. you know what? Yeah. Fuck it. I'll buy it. Fuck Those it. Those crack like, me up. Like, like I, 
hamster games. There's a whole backstory to those hamster games. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen. But that. um, my my advice to uh, resellers or new whatnot streamers, um, be yourself. I, I would say like just turning the camera to the product all the time doesn't engage people as much. Yeah. If they can see you, if you can be yourself, if you can get your, you know, if you're comfortable in front of the camera, that'll help you a lot because now people aren't buying into the product, they're buying into you, which I feel like uh, that's a lot of our success too. Like, yeah. I feel like a lot of people will buy it to support us because they've grown to like us and know us and my stupidity and they know that I'll go out of my way to wear beaver suits <laughs> or lick cartridges <laughs> or you know oh, so, oh. even though he says we have weak product i never buy into that we have I'm not so saying much we have weak product i'm just saying you know it, sometimes people yeah. have weak product so it, it's just so much crazy stuff sometimes we like we'll pull stuff out and just look at it and be like well we don't know what it is like it's going up though but yeah he yeah. he just has a massive array and think about it decades worth of storage and stuff that's been sitting in boxes. Sometimes we'll be surprised. There's a lot of I stuff I have, you know, in the deep crevices of the storages that no one's ever seen before, that no one's ever known exist before. That I'll oh, you guys had a, oh yeah, I, I seen you guys, I seen you pull stuff out, you know what I'm saying, pause, right? But that, that yeah, that no <laughs> one's seen before. And that's amazing, right? Like, I, I think you guys ended up getting live on, 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 stream a bunch of um gamecube game boy right the the mm -hmm. thing with and the discs and stuff like yep. that right japanese and um you had a 64 64 dds up there and they went yep. for good for a good amount right and it's just like you know um some of the stuff that you guys got water graded sealed and everything like that i really haven't you know i haven't seen many other streams that even has water games and then what i was going to get to real quick was what i what i love about you guys streams too is the gamification aspect right like the games that you guys do are much different than other streams everybody seems to be doing you know mystery bags right and and ah uh, and you guys just the creativity around it the show aspect around it is to me why i think you guys are are so successful and i go out of my way to bookmark right i go out of my way to like uh make sure i can free up as much as possible to at least have the stream on in the background while i'm multitasking so that thank says a lot you. for you guys yeah yeah no it's the same here you guys are entertaining and it's like if we really just needed to go buy something we you know we could have gone to ebay that's boring and you click and you buy and it's done so i think the allure of whatnot in general and then you guys in particular is it's fun it's a whole experience and you know, I got, I paid you what, 51, 52 bucks to lick a switch cartridge. And that was worth every single penny. So, yeah. yeah. And I know you get paid for <laughs> other, funny. other weird shit, but uh, <laughs> taking that's shirts off, putting shirts back on, whatever. Yep. True. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. And that's, that's a testament to, to you as a personality, Chris, right? And as a talent and, and you guys just as a as a great team man and i mean that from the bottom of my heart because Thank um so again it's entertainment dude right like like um what is it going back to like jay-z and i'm sorry about so many brooklyn references here chris but uh, it's like fun we could yeah, be you. we could be anywhere oh, wow. else and we're here with you right we're watching yeah we're watching you guys and it pains her i know you guys got a show later today it pains her that she's gonna be showing a house but showing houses or whatever like that and can't because um although she probably will have the stream on while driving no, right not yeah. looking at it she's not gonna so our insurance company so they it doesn't jack up <laughs> listening to it while the test is driving itself or, yeah. <laughs> even oh, wow. worse even worse now man but <laughs> but that just it's yeah it's not illegal but when you see that technicalities and stuff like that she was studying before to be a, a, a lawyer yeah lily just for you i'll make sure i describe everything in detail just wear a earpiece <laughs> while you're showing the house yeah, that, that's what i do yeah i just have like my hair down exactly like, just wear earpiece I'm like that's the kitchen let me let me go right here and she starts giggling because because you've said something <laughs> funny or or someone has 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 you know it's so funny i love egging him on during the show <laughs> i don't think it's Every just time, you. never fails 
Never and then he's just like, yo. <laughs> that's that's her <laughs> great yeah. personality and stuff like that. But there, yeah. but you have a fan club. Like you need to start. You know how people say, um, Cleveland, they had the dog pound. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, what and, and um for the Yankees, I forget what the hell they, the bleacher they call creatures. The bleacher, right? So it's like it's like you need because you got some fans, Chris. I'm gonna be up front, man. You got a lot of fans there. I don't weird. see them in other streams. It's a little weird. <laughs> they only come to the game night arcade and they're like, why are you dressed? Yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah. think that's the fan club. I think we're gonna call that the man club, is what it is. A bunch the man of men asking me <laughs> asking me why I'm wearing shirt, calling me gummy bear, all types of weird stuff, man. Oh man, I that's... don't know. I mean, we call it the collective, I would say the collective group of people, like all the people that mess with us, we call it the run it up gang. Because, you yeah. know, they're so used to me saying run it up, run it up all the time. But, um, uh, yeah, shout out to you. Anyways, um, yeah, just uh, a, funny, lot of, a lot of people ask me to do weird things on there, you know. A lot of stuff, I'm, I'm kind of glad my girlfriend doesn't watch the stream. She would be questioning our relationship on the I got a lot of other ideas her. that we're going to be doing to keep it entertaining. <laughs> Yeah. No, that's great because because those th your gamification stuff is awesome. I mean, and I haven't seen. I'm sure other people will try to duplicate duplicate the stuff. I mean, somebody did mystery bags, and some people are better than others. But it seems like everybody you know copies that. Um, but you guys, um, another person, shout out to to Mac Frugal. He's doing some Macnopoly stuff now, and that stuff is like. You sit there and watch the whole stream. There's very few people that I'm saying they're like, I gotta watch the whole stream to the end. Popular opinion, who was on last week, but some of his streams, I just fall asleep on them because not because they're boring, because he goes so damn late, you know. And after six hours, I'm like, I'm like, dude, I just crash. And 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 usually before then, I'm buying stuff that randomly appears. And I and yeah. I've told you guys about that um, <laughs> before too. But um, you know, where can people? find you guys on social right and are you guys um i know you guys said it on one of your streams thinking about it where can they find you on social right now and do you guys plan on and if so you know what's going to be the name on the youtube channel what's going to be the concepts around it um so as far as so social goes game night arcade on facebook game night arcade instagram those are the best places to reach us, but you also got GameNightArcade.com where you can yeah. see the bar, you can see um, the menu of food and stuff that we have. Um, no, at Delicious no, stuff. continues to see him on Instagram directly. If you ever want to communicate with him directly, at uh, no underscores continues. Yeah, because a lot of people will either be hitting up the Game Night page to... If you're hitting up Game Night, you're talking to me. Yeah, you're talking to him on Game Night. <laughs> Whenever you're hitting up No Continues, that's my personal page. You're hitting me up directly so sometimes people will be asking him questions thinking that they're talking to me or vice versa you know so we always kind of have to like let people know the difference between the two because you know sometimes i'll be getting weird pics in my dms and i'm like yo oh man for me i don't you know i'll best go <laughs> the man <laughs> <club. laughs> as far as youtube um i already have a game at arcade youtube and I have I have an account that already has over a thousand subscribers, and I'm gonna. There's a way to ship that onto this game at Arcade YouTube. So we'll have a, a base to start with, and um, we're basically gonna do a little bit of everything Chris wants to do and I want to do. Uh, yeah. Whatever, like Phoenix Resales and Retro Rick, like all the stuff yep. that they do, I've already been doing for ten years, yep. and I still do it on a regular basis. I just wear a camera. We also do. All those conventions every year which are exciting in their own ways the trips oh, hell yeah. up there the fucking yeah cars breaking down there's always something that, that's going on <laughs> and then you know just interacting with people at the booth is, is always very yeah. interesting and fun so we we've got more than enough content i think it's just yep. about implementing and actually you know doing the videos and we both can edit fairly well and uh besides that just to simplify it, most of our videos are going to be us shopping for Doritos. So anybody who's expecting anything different, like big adventures or video game <laughs> hauls, it's just going to be us looking for every different type of flavored Dorito. That's it. That's we're about like 15 that, episodes that of one ass bag. Done, We're canceling it. So one season. You need to find Dorito. a bigger bag than the one I gave you. I've never to this day seen I'm, a bigger bag of Doritos than the one you guys have given us. It's, it's starting to show a lot of age and wear and tear, but we're going to shake that thing until it can't shake no more. So don't worry. 
<laughs> my Wendy, mom that's you got that somewhere. That be... thing's probably older than you are. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't open it. Just don't open it. You know, so like everything, every show, we throw a little bit of games in there. And then at the end of the year, we'll do that big bag with all the games we, we put together for the whole year. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably start that next year. Like start like a little countdown and show everybody like this is what the bag of Doritos is. You know, like, it'll give you time to save up. And then when you get that nice tax return money, <laughs> oh. blow it on one bag of Doritos. Get your video game collection started right in a language you can't read. Perfect. <laughs> and and those are those are great, great, great content ideas too. Like you guys, you guys mentioned some some of the other people like like Phoenix Resale and, and Retro Rick. You know, I'm trying to say the Pixel Game Squad guys and all that stuff, right? That yeah. that really do that, Mr. Right, all right, um, uh, Mr. Right Way or whatever. Right. And and um I'll tell you right now, man, and I'm not trying to blow smoke up you guys' butts, man, but you know. You guys got better personalities than them. They got great content. They got a lot of subs. A lot of those guys got a lot of subs, and and they just probably have um, a head start, I would say, on you guys, right? I think um, the stories you guys got. I saw some of the videos when you did it on the stories for um, so the stories you guys got, then the stories yeah. on whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. um, of you know the the that grill that you guys found that warehouse with all that stuff, you know um that definitely is youtube worthy you know what i'm trying to say yeah. that definitely is youtube worthy and i think it's, you know it's not common for us to come across things like that yeah I, I, we just need to honestly just implement the recording and, and go from there yeah awesome man well we'll i'll get the links from you guys and put the links below and everything like that and also um uh you know feature the channel and everything like that but i'm sure when you start putting out that content you'll you'll you guys will blow up, man, right? Because that content, again, you know, um, and the YouTube algorithm will will feed that because that content is definitely high in demand, and people love seeing the story uh, and the journey of getting these games. You know, what I'm trying to say um, that that's just been proven, like like all the names that we've been mentioning, putting out some great content, and you guys need to have a check mark on whatnot, man. So I'm gonna petition. You know, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh wait, they do that on whatnot. They do like yeah, verified accounts? yeah. Yeah. I had no idea. Know Shout out to Gabo. Gabo's got a check mark. So he's got a guys, check mark. Gabo's got a check mark. Uh, oh, shout out to uh, him. Riff, Riff's got a check mark. Um, nah, we need to we'll get a check mark now. That's it. We're not official till we have a check mark. Yeah, you guys need a check mark because you guys that, are, start, are up there. Real funny in these streets. People are gonna try to talk to me, and I'm just gonna be like, "Listen, do you know who you're fucking talking to right now, <laughs> Mr. Check Mark over here? Oh, <laughs> just wait. So, just wait. So hit up. Hit up whomever at whatnot, because you know I'm gonna hit them up when I see them at a live event, right? And I'm gonna let them know. I'm like, hey man, what's what's going on here, right? Like, yeah. you know, but because I don't know what that thing is for a check mark, but you know, one of one of the biggest things is you guys did the 24 hour stream. You guys have have done a boatload of sales, maintained a high, uh, a very high rating, right? Because there's you know that's difficult in and of itself right um yeah but to maintain it with so much stuff that you guys have sold is is a, is a testament to the quick shipping i've gotten stuff from you guys after on the 24-hour stream i got the stuff two days later Wow. like and you guys were selling for how many items however many items and giving away in that 24-hour stream and i got it so whatever system I think you guys got, got to 600 items right that was like our goal yeah, we, we hit 600 packages. items, 600 packages that day. Wow. Which, that's crazy. That's a testament to his hard work because yeah. he's the guy who prints out all those labels, packages them, ships them off. That's all his work right here. So that's all those awesome. beautifully nice shipped bubble wrapped packages, he does all that. All I do is at the end of every package, once he tapes it up, I kiss each package so it's sent with love. <laughs> that's oh, it. That's, but that's, that's what the, I've been that's getting a lot ingredient. of bumps on my lips lately, so I had to kind of chill out on that. Oh, I, I wear a dental dam now whenever I kiss the packages because my Aren't face is getting packages? real messed up. Aren't they clean packages that's, though? Now it's, oh yeah, no. That's <laughs> fresh DNA, man. They're clean. They're, they're clean. <laughs> but my lips started to look like they, like they were deep fried. They were so bumpy. It's just, it wasn't oh, my you got calluses on your lips? Damn. Pickle lips. Pickle oh. lips. <laughs> Never and guys, this is the this is the great <laughs> stuff and the banter that goes on, you know, on Gay Night Arcades, whatnot streams. I'm sure this is the 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 infectious personalities that you're gonna get on the YouTube channel. So again, make sure to follow these guys. Besides where they can find you, and we'll have the links below. 
both of you guys collectively and individually who do you guys want to shout out um and everything like that go ahead the the, the floor is yours as we start wrapping um, things up i want to go back and shout out the whole staff at game night spencer definitely shout out him like yeah. i said he's there seven days a week anything bar related it's all him it's all him and it's all the guys and uh, girls at game night yep so spence we want to shout out well one we want to shout out you guys man yeah, you too. guys have been such great supporters and now good friends of ours you guys have yeah. always been there you show up to every show i can't think of a show where you guys can have not showed up to you guys are are the royal family of whatnot because <laughs> it's either lily will jump in first and then you'll jump in or both you guys jump in at the same time you say hi to each other from different rooms you guys are yeah, even in the same yeah. room most of the time but shout out to you guys shout out to uh, wk boski all the people who support us a local hombre, a local hombre solid snake solid snake, solid snake. Yep, yep. Gonzalo, yeah nys Gonzalo. retro classics we're missing anybody we're sorry. yeah we're missing anybody but so much people that just hot oh right right no way solid snake just cool people man nerdy over 30 also i just chilled with them uh this past week in new york while i was up there i, I chilled with the guys we had a few drinks and talk but yeah, man, it, it's just been such a, a crazy thing for us. You know, it's it's basically a stream of income that we didn't know existed before. It wasn't possible. Also, it's so humbling, like, to yeah. have you guys, like, give us your time and throw us on this podcast, have all these guys on, on whatnot, you know. Yeah. Just tune in all the time for, like, they could be anywhere else, but they're here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. And it's awesome that they, I know you guys were telling me a quick story when, when we saw you guys at the Florida con, right? So I, it's got to be awesome, too, that people come up to you and say, hey, man, because, Josh, you're behind the camera. So now people are starting to know you and see you, right? They, they probably recognize the voice and everything like that. But they, they come up to Chris and got to say, hey, you're the Doritos guy, right? So, you know, you got to you gotta market that, man. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're working on some ideas. Sure. We have some things going on. And I, and I, I think... Am I one of the first people or that got the Doritos bag? I know I posted it on the Instagram, yes. right? You are you are one of three people who got the Dorito bag, but yes. Um, yes. those are collectors all, items. All, man. all of them are one of one, very individual, very different. So I don't draw Gee. any any one Dorito uh, the same way twice. So yeah, yeah man. You you're one she of the She ate first the chips. She oh, yeah. ate the chips from the Dorito bag she got. I think she's yeah. gotten multiple I've gotten bags multiple from you guys. There's one that's the damn still chips. closed. Yeah, but my, I did eat that's them. my bag that's still closed. My bag is still. I don't like the cool the, the cool ranch chips. I do. I think I would have ate them if they were spicy nacho, but I got them there, <laughs> minty. You know what I'm trying to say? Not quite like W K Boski, our boy W K Boski, who's got them yeah. uh, on his shelf and shows them off on the streams often. You yeah, he showed me, which was crazy. I had never seen that, and I saw one of his streams. He just had a shelf of Doritos. I, I was super humbled to see that because yeah. to me, I still laugh at that. It was such a, a dumb idea in my mind, but it worked. And you know, like now I'm I'm the Dorito guy. You it's know, crazy, now Christopher like Concepcion, 36 years old, father of two, ex-rapper. <laughs> Dorito I'm Dorito guy. So, you know, not nacho man Randy Savage. <laughs> yep, you know, any, I, I'll run any, with it. Hey, it works. Any personal, any personal shout outs you wanna you guys wanna give? significant others you, you mentioned your, your your father too your i'm always shouting out my kids right at the yeah. end of the episode and the so and the dog <laughs> yeah like shout out too. to my kids we're gonna shout out dogs well my dogs wow now that i think about it i pushed these doritos so hard i completely forgot that my dog's name is nacho um so yes i have a little chihuahua named nacho is named after nacho libre uh shout out to my kids my son chance is actually spending the summer here with me uh, I went and picked them up a few days ago. So Chance is here, um, currently out food shopping with my mom. And uh, yeah, so shout out to them. Shout out to the guys at Game Night. Shout out to Josh. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to uh, Super Mario and Mega Man. Shout out to my girlfriend. Great inspiration. My and my shout out to my. <laughs> shout out to me not wearing any shoes during this whole thing. I've been barefoot. Oh man, I now. Didn't know that, right? oh. oh. I don't either. We're at home. We're chilling. <laughs> He's he's wearing, he's wearing shoes, not oh me though. <laughs> he's got his Jordan Chris. chocolate. Thumbs. Oh my goodness! Now now the what is it the man what is it the man squad the, or whatever like that. The, the man, man squad is gonna definitely the man, the man club. Yeah. Oh, uh, is this your first time having feet on the stream? 
probably. Oh man, all the foot fetish people are gonna come out of the woodwork, so it's gonna be nasty. You're gonna, you're, a... you're gonna start getting different types of DMs now. Damn, I should have never done that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Blood gates. Listen, there, there's, um, there's a lot of that on whatnot too, man. There's people selling um, uh, socks. You know what I'm trying to say? No, but, but funny. And being asked to wear them on stream. But people you know are, are weird like that. So I purposely wear shoes when I do like. Uh, I have unboxing videos and building videos where I'm putting yeah. like whole arcades together. Mm -hmm. So I actually purposely wear shoes when I do those because I'm like some weirdo is gonna like crop <laughs> pictures of my feet or some weird shit. Oh like man, <laughs> the, the, the type of so people I that do, are out there, man. I do purposely wear shoes for that. So if you guys ever see them, you're gonna realize, like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there was, but there's some big, there's some, there's some shows that I've been on, on, on whatnot where, yeah, people are, you know, ask, <laughs> asking them to put like they're buying like those video game socks and mm -hmm. asking them to wear them real quick on camera, put them on, and then send send it to them. Well, so, now you just gave me another idea. We're gonna start selling dude, socks now. I gotta try that on the next that. stream. And I bet you somebody would run it up and buy it. There's, there's... Yo, people ask me to sell my clothes all the time. I think sometimes people are trying to stuff. pay to strip me naked. People have asked to buy my shirt, so my hat. Your hat, your hat. No, you yeah. have cool shit, though. You, have you got cool some shit. awesome yeah. hats, right? The Street Thank Fighter hat, the Super Mario hat. They, I know they've asked you plenty of times. And I bet you they, they buy them and, and, and run them up. Yeah. You know so. what I'm trying to say? So maybe try that on the next one. Start um, buying two shirts each time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you actually still have it. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. do a stream where I just wear all my cl cool clothes on top of each other, and then people just keep buying them to they strip me naked. That'll be the goal of the show. There you go, dude. Yeah. I I think. Listen, I'm sure what not will come up with rules after the show, <laughs> but for now you're not violating, you know, anything. The secret is though that I'm really hairy, so even when I'm fully naked, I look clothes because it looks like I'm wearing like a chinchilla sweater. Oh. You can't you can't see anything. So jokes on them. I'm looking at a big patch of Velcro. Is what I, I like. remember that episode where they were like, oh, snap, you you, you like, shaped oh, you up your chest up. there or whatever. I do got to keep like it looking very... good. So you're not, so you're not, the fur the is not, yeah, so the fur is not coming out, man, like, yeah. like all that stuff. With that said, guys, it's been tremendous and, and, and fun like that. We're wrapping it up. Um, And all, what I would like to say, you got any, any last words that you want? is i want to thank you guys right from from definitely man you guys have been great um I, i've said it so much during this episode but it's still not enough right and like to quote our, our fellow puerto rican from south florida now he's in south florida or transport you know nori we want to give flowers while people's around right so that's why we're trying to have people from whatnot that that we love you know i'm trying to say our favorites on the show and of course you guys are up there i've been trying to get you guys on the show for months but finally got you on the show, and I think this episode, people are gonna gonna love it. They're gonna love you guys, um, like we do, man. And I just want to thank you guys for for extending that hospitality, man. Especially when we came down. So anybody in South Florida, make it a destination. Whether it's a forty five minute drive, an hour drive to head to Game Night Arcade, the barcade that's not really a barcade or officially a barcade, right? Make sure to visit them because I'm telling you. I keep saying top two because that's how I always hedge, right? Because I don't want to offend somebody. So I'm saying top two. Best milkshake I've ever had. Period. So he still, he that's a big claim. Still talks about Dude, it. Dude, I know. Like randomly. I know. He'll just be sitting there. He's like, damn, that you was the best one. You had to try the rest now. Uh, <laughs> I know. But, but it would be crazy for me to drive specifically three and a half hours. Nah, don't worry. For a milkshake. We're, we're, we're not going to let you do that. We're going to send you a milkshake in your next package. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, I, that's gonna be that, lovely. That, yeah. That's gonna arrive. That really day. was the best. Um, I mean, bro, I wanted to drink the rest of it, but I would have exploded, man, because it was a, it was, it was a big cup too. They can't see my other hand. Yeah, it was yeah. a big cup too. Make she even big. had some and everything like that. So, and the pictures that you guys got and the menu, um, the food looks looks great too, right? I got full off the, the milkshake, so couldn't taste it's all, anything. It's all made with love and, and like care and like. And you like can I said, Spencer's a maestro in the kitchen. Yeah. And great toys, great games that that you guys had there too. Um, we we made off with some horror figures that Lily's a great collector in the horror Adam scene. Bell. So, y'all, some great stuff, man. So, again, we thank you guys from the show perspective. Um, 
I'll pop up sometime this week, right? Tomorrow's July 4th, but sometime this week I'll pop up. We're four episodes away from 200. We'll do a big um, giveaway stream and stuff like that. Give, give some stuff away, you know, to, that accomplishment. And we have some videos coming up um, on a whatnot tip. She's got, she's going to be selling a, a version of Annabelle, them old dolls, man. I want them out the house, man. So on whatnot, <laughs> she's got, cause I don't know, one of them probably is the real Annabelle, them old dolls from the 50s, yeah, 60s, know. 70s or whatever. And, um, and you're also doing a Funko Pop one coming up. Yeah, right, I have too. two shows this week. I have a Funko Pop on Tuesday and then the doll, is, the doll show is on Thursday. So check it out. We'll I sell it on my in. account, Lily FL55. We awesome. just do video games on the JLS one. Yeah, because everybody, including you, Chris, when it was just my name, was screwing it up. That's, you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? And that's well, how me LaSalle and Chris. All the time. Not like yeah, I had to tell him it's La Salle, like La Calle, you know, and, and he predicted, I mean, he correctly, correctly guessed or predicted whatever that uh, my family was from Agua. De First, he correctly guessed where I was from in Jersey. <laughs> Chris, oh, Chris, on the stream, he said Patterson. And I'm like, yeah, I am from Patterson. <laughs> Because I think you said your favorite uh, uh, producer is from from Jersey, from just, Patterson, Just, just Blaze. Blaze. Yep. Yeah, shout out to Just Blaze and Darren, you know what I'm saying, Pound Cake. But, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, so he corrected that. And then from Puerto Rico, he said, oh, you must be from Aguadilla. And I'm like, yeah, I, I am. My dad lives out there in Aguadilla, so. The funny thing is, I don't know if you know this, but um, when he used to listen to your streams or watch your streams, before I even knew what what not was, Mm -hmm. And then he would say, like, don't say my name. Because I would hear you say his name. <laughs> like, he won or he bought something. Yeah. And that's actually how I got on Whatnot. Because I'm like, what are you always watching? It, <laughs> yeah. Like, the State Farm. You. She's like, what? What's this State Farm? Who's this he guy? I'm like, hideous. And I'm <laughs> like, no. I'm like, no. I'm like, Chris, don't say my name, man. Don't say like, I bought the shit. To pack me up. We always used to give you, like, a different name each time to, like, make up for it. Yeah. yeah. And then, <laughs> and then she, but she got put on and we're both addi literally addicted to whatnot man Can't we just beat them, join them. supporting the shows man but as always guys thank you guys so much you know and we'll see you guys peace